Hello and welcome back to Mr Mechanical. This time we're back working on the Mini Caterham and in this video we're going to be CNC milling the rear wheel hub bearing carriers. So this is the first part uh, in aluminium that I've machined. So, so let's see how the uh, milling machine copes milling the uh, aluminium part. Okay so I designed my uh, rear hub bearing carrier on Fusion 360 and then um, designed the tool paths using the manufacturing tool on there. Okay, so up here we can hit uh, simulate and what I've got is I've got the, let's turn the model off and we'll turn off the tool path and then we'll just uh, watch this through. So I started off with my stock material and just took um, a millimetre um, face operation off the top of the material. Um, I was using a six mil carbide end mill and two and a half thousand re um, revolutions, revs, RPM. And the feed rate of about 208 millimetres a minute. Then once we'd faced off the stock, it was then a 2D contouring operation to um, create that feature in the material. So this 2D adaptive, um, this was just creating that cylindrical feature on the top of the part. Once that was done, um, there was then the lugs to machine at the bottom where the brake calipers would be mounted. And then once that was done, there was a pocketing operation um, carried out in the centre of the part to create space for the bearing and the drive shaft that would come in from the rear of the part later on. then a clean up operation just to take off the finish just take off the last bit of material and then some uh, deep drilling to create the holes in the part okay so now that i've got the underside of that part machined i've got all the excess material off um, and now I want to clean up this inside bore where the bearing will fit so I can get a good fit on the bearing. So the first thing I need to do is centre up the machine, um, centre to that bore. So I'm just doing that with this coaxial indicator. Um, so we'll get that done and then I'll put a boring head in and we can machine the inside out.
so that's a uh, 0 0.01 millimeter increments on there so I was getting it within about 0 0.05 of a mil so I'm happy with that um, so I'll swap over to the boring head now and we'll open that hole up for the bearing Ok so the last thing to do now on this part is to tap these holes and this will be what holds it to the uh, rear upright and then these two holes here they are for the brake caliper to be fixed to in the future but for now I'm just going to tap these for until I work out how the brake caliper will fix um, so let's get them tapped Okay, so the idea is that uh, this hub carrier will be bolted onto the, or the bearing carrier will be bolted onto this rear upright just using some M3 screws passing right through the back of the upright. If I can get in there. Okay, so there's uh, one of the rear um, bearing carriers fixed to the rear upright. I'm uh, happy with how that's turned out. Um, I might give it a bit of a polish with uh, some scotch bright just to take some of the cut marks off from the CNC mill. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm happy with that. I do need to get some slightly shorter bolts because the ones I put in there, are, they're a bit too long and don't quite pull it tight. So I'll get some shorter bolts and uh, get that fixed on properly. Still got the other one to drill and tap so um, I won't bore you with repeating the same activities but that's, uh, that one fitted. And the idea is that um, I can put my rear hubs into there. I need to remake this one, it's a bit of a slack fit in the bearing. And then the wheels will be fixed to there. Um, yeah, and then the idea is that I'm thinking about now rotor broaching a hex in the middle of those hubs and then having a hex bar as a bit of a stub axle out the back to drive these. So this will then go back to drive shafts to a rear diff. And then from the rear diff um, prop shaft gearbox engine at the front of the car. So we start to make some progress. But uh, I'm going to get the other one finished. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it please hit that like button. Comment below if you have any ideas on uh, what I can improve. Particularly on the CNC milling. And uh, I'll see you again next time.